This is Twit. You either hate it or you love it. Um, so yes, this is a moment we've all been waiting for. Except for Jeff, uh, he couldn't wait because he's been running the beta, I think, for a little while. But for the rest of us, the moment we've been waiting for is here. And that's the Plucky Puffin is now available for download. And if you don't know what a Plucky Puffin is, well, I don't know what the animal is either. But as far as Canonical is concerned, it is Ubuntu 2504 release. So Ubuntu 25.04 is powered with the latest Linux 6.14 kernel. There is now a generic ARM64 desktop ISO uh, tar targeting virtual machines, ACPI plus EFI platforms, and Snapdragon-based Windows on ARM devices, as well as uh, initial hardware uh, enablement for the Snapdragon X Elite platform. The installer has features to improve dual booting for Windows, so that way Jeff can uh, e more easily boot uh, dual boot Windows and Linux. Uh, it has it's now including a focus on BitLocker protected Windows systems, allowing users to install Ubuntu alongside existing BitLocker partitions. <clears throat> it has network enhancements such, such as NetPlan receives support for WPA, PSK, SHA-256 Wi-Fi connections. So some better encryption there. There is support for configuring routing policies on the Network Manager backend. And there's support for new functionality in SystemD, NetworkD, uh, wait online. To, so, to wait for DNS servers to be configured and reachable before considering an interface to be online. So um, before the interface says it's online, it has to be able to get to DNS. Uh, we also see improvements with AppArmor and NVIDIA Dynamic Boost is now enabled by default on support supported laptops with NVIDIA GPUs. So Jeff will definitely like that one too. All the core apps under the hood are updated, such as the new GCC 15, which I believe uh, GCC 15 15.1 just came out, but they have 15 mm -hmm. on there. Uh, and the exciting new apt 3.0 package manager that I think we just talked about last week, maybe it was the week before, but that's uh, one you definitely want to get a, get your hands on. And then Ubuntu 2504 also includes the new gnome or gnome whatever you want to call it. i like gnome 48 and all the great features that uh that includes like notification grouping uh and then there's also a new digital well-being panel in settings providing screen time tracking features and controls similar to what apple provides so uh you can uh get scolded when you're in front of the screen too much and a feature Jonathan would love is HDR support, <laughs> kind of, you know, for 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 the apps that support it at least. And and it's not enabled by default. There's you have to go on there and you have to get down enabled, but it's there. And there are a lot of other new features in here, like uh, preserve battery health mode to to help prolong battery capacity. And oh, okay, I, I think I'm just going to stop right here. Uh, no one wants me to list off feature after feature for, you know, the rest of the show. We all want to get out of here and, uh, and, and uh, you know, well, for me, I want to play some games, but uh, who knows what the rest Try of out of Ubuntu 2504. Um, you know, today, today I mostly use Ubuntu on servers and, you know, I didn't really see anything interesting, too interesting in there for uh, 2504 for, for me, for my servers. So I think I'm still going to wait for the next lts like i normally do but it does it, it looks looks pretty great uh for the desktop so maybe when i'm done running mint i'll give ubuntu another try on the desktop someday one thing is if you're running 24.10 kubuntu with kde going to 2504 you are now on the 6.3 kde version so you're a lot of Very updated cool. uh plasma and frameworks and all Welcome that in the future Yep. Yep. I think I'll wait till next month. Two reasons. One, to give myself time to back up my current desktop, mm -hmm. just in case. 
And number two, to give it time for some of those uh, updates that you'll probably end up having to do for the next couple of weeks to go ahead and get rolled into what I actually install. Should it, sh shouldn't your nightly backups cover that first one pretty easily? I mean, that should just be done <laughs> when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> so I've got to know, does Ubuntu intentionally pick animals that nobody's ever heard of? I think they just kind of ran out of things uh, to do with uh, their, their lettering scheme. I know they intentionally pick uh, animals. A lot of them <laughs> are based out of Africa, I believe. Yeah, which is well, where the where the Ubuntu name comes from as well. Yeah, so it's kind of on brand. I I, I did know essentially what a puffin was. I could tell you could have told you it was a type of bird. Um, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it's it's a it's a cute little almost penguin ish thing. So I mean, I approve. It's a cute little bird. It it's yeah. it's a better or more recognizable name for me than uh, some of the more recent ones, which I can't remember what those were either. But I knew there were some that I just had no never heard of. <laughs> Twenty five ten is going to be called Questing Quaka. What's and, Quaka? <laughs> uh, it's a it's a cute little critter, fur, fuzzy critter that looks like it's making the whelp face. That's what I see every time I see it. <laughs> whelp. Where is it around? It's a sound Pac-Man makes when he's eating dots. Quacka, 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 quacka. <laughs> hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>